it is our birthday today, and I'd like to ask everyone to know how old we are. Ooh, how old are we? We are 132, and we do not look our age at all. Every Burke told his grandchildren that he was going to a 132nd birthday party today, and they just looked at him and raised an eyebrow. So we are going to sing a very special song and there's something very beautiful going to be wheeled down the aisle by our best girl team. So I want everybody to try and this with you. Here we go. Got to press that. There we are. An enormous first cut of the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do a second cut, Mrs. Stokes? Yes. 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 <laughs> mm. Where? Where do we think, girls? Should we just go here? Yeah. Yes. We do, we do a second cut there. Look. Marvellous. So everybody's getting cake at break time. No one will be left out. Marvellous.
Father, we are ashamed that we have said, thought, and done wrong. And we must first ask for your forgiveness, which you promised to us through our Redeemer Jesus. Help us not to be selfish, discontented, or unkind, but to take our place as honest and hard-working members of our community. We give thanks for all your love and care, and we ask for grace to know your will for us and strength to fulfil it. Keep our school safe and bless every one of its members, past and present. Make and keep us faithful to you all our lives, for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
the values that Talbot Teeth instills in its pupils are resilience, perseverance and dedication are as evident now as they were when the school was founded. Mary Broad would be delighted to see our exciting new building taking shape in our 132nd year. She would applaud our determination to inspire our pupils and foster in them a desire to follow their passions. In the words of Henry David Thoreau, do not lose hold of your dreams or aspirations. For if you do, you may still exist, but you have ceased to live. Thank you for all who have thought in this place over the past 131 years for the wisdom, love and guidance bestowed upon Mary Broad, our founder and first headmistress, and handed on so richly to generations of girls for the vision and courage of Sicily Drysweid Scots, under whom we came to these present buildings, for the leadership and example of Janet Munro-Taylor, Alexina McPherson, Claire Austin-Smith, Christine Dipple, and our present head, Anhara Holloway. For all benefactors, trustees and governors who have given freely of their time and gifts to the school. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, praise his holy name. For all work well done, for responsibilities faithfully accepted, for all examples of courage and constancy, and for many blessings known and unknown. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Praise the Lord. for inviting me to speak today um, and for trusting that I'm able to send the sixth form off with some words of wisdom. Miss um, Coates and I have been having some fun over the last week or so to see how long we can keep some of you believing that it's a school birthday tradition for all students to wear a dress to the birthday meal. <laughs> Whilst considering what I might say, I do think that has backfired somewhat. <laughs> Over the next few weeks and months, you will all be embarking onto your futures, whether that be preparing for a career in sport, finance, going on to university to study art, medicine or literature, and eventually the many amazing careers you aspire to have, some of which you won't even be considering just yet. Here are a few words of good luck. As you begin to embrace your future, you will all have one thing in common, your time here at Talbot Heath. You have been able to develop into well-rounded young women. You are able to believe in your own abilities, hold yourselves with conviction and integrity, and will always be able to rely on the wide support network you have built here. One important support network of mine has been my family, who I'm lucky enough to say has always been there for me. Never underestimate how often your parents' words of advice will come back to haunt you. <laughs> Yet it's my dad's sage advice that rings in my ears most often. If you think you might want to change your career or do something else, take the leap and go for it. It's better to have failed trying to achieve your dreams than not to have tried at all. Now, as one of the younger members of staff here, I have also received many words of wisdom from my more experienced colleagues. And here are just a few I'd like to share with you. <laughs> Mrs Maynard has always been a voice of reason and she has taught me not to be afraid to have a backup plan. Plan A rarely works out as you expect it to, so it's all about how you handle plans B and sometimes even C. However, the success of the backup plan might just surprise you. Mrs McDonald's words of wisdom hold true no matter what your plans are. Even if things don't go your way, or the way you planned, no matter what happens, be true to yourself and you'll always end up doing what's right for you. 
Winging it is not always ideal, <laughs> but it's sometimes necessary, but not for your exams, so revise. <laughs> Another member of staff I have often come to for advice is Miss Baker, and for the technology-filled world we now live in, her advice is more pertinent than ever. Do things for yourself and not to fit in with other people's expectations of you. Do not worry too much about what other people think of you, as they're far too busy thinking about themselves and what other people think about them than to actually be thinking about you. So live in the now and don't worry about tomorrow. Miss Marks has aptly provided a sporting themed piece of advice. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Some sound advice to put yourselves out there and continue to seize the opportunities which will come your way. And she might just do her song advice for you if you ask her. <laughs> um, Mrs Matthews advice has been invaluable on my journey here at Talbot Heath and she has some astute words for you all. You will be remembered for how you treat others, so be kind. As you climb the career of life, help others to climb with you, otherwise it could get very lonely at the top. Mrs Karanja only joined the school this year, yet she has made a huge impact within the school community and has given me many words of wisdom in the short amount of time we have known each other. Believe in yourself and never give up. No matter how much it feels like it would be easier to hide from the challenges with a bar of chocolate on the sofa, it's always worth putting in the effort for yourself. And finally, from my own experience, Bear in mind that although some days you will go home thinking that you have failed, by picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and going back to improve the next day, you will become stronger, more confident, and hopefully achieve your ultimate goals. So in the words of J.K. Rowling, a fellow classicist, some failure in life is inevitable. It, it is impossible to live without failure unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all. Knowing what a special place Talbot Heath is, I'm sure you will all enter the world with a mixture of sadness, trepidation and excitement in your hearts. And I think I can safely say, on behalf of the staff here, we all wish you the best of luck in your future endeavours. Cheers, good luck. Good luck. or email every one of you that you can have them on your person for moments of crisis just to encourage you and engender that sense of, of, of courage and bravery. Um, what I love about this upper six is the sheer breadth of personalities within it. I was talking to one of the students just before lunch and I said we don't really do wishy-washy at Talbot Heath. There aren't many beige pupils here. There are students who are quiet and self-contained. There are students who are more introverted. There are others who enter the room with, with well, they certainly make an entrance. <laughs> but all of you, regardless of your personality, you have substance and you have character. And I think that will ensure that whatever you go on to do and whatever adversity life may throw at you, you will succeed and you will achieve because you have that self-assurance and I think you have those principles and values that will stand you in good stead. So I wanted to wish you the very best and I know that we will have our afternoon tea and we will have a special assembly for you coming up. I wanted to take this opportunity to say some thank yous as well. It's a huge amount of work and I know that Mrs Stone and Mrs Stout have worked tirelessly over the last few months to organise this day, so I would like us to thank them very much. And I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our magnificent catering team if they'd like to come out for, for providing such a wonderful I think you've done remarkably 
well to feed well over 130, I think we had 132 guests yeah. today. I <laughs> chosen deliberately, but we had 132 guests and we did a fantastic job, so many, many thanks from all of us. Now, I think finally our head girls have a few words that they'd like to say. Thank you very much to everyone who's come today um, and all the staff making it such a lovely day. I'm sure we've all had a really good time. Um, and we'd like to say a special thanks to Mrs Stone, who's done so much to organise today, and to Madame Clems, who's supported us so much through our time at the Upper Six. So could they please come because we have a little question <laughs> alongside each other. It's very unusual for people to feel so relaxed and to enjoy themselves um, and have that opportunity. So it just remains for me to wish you all a very happy and sunny bank holiday week.